Hello guys. Today we are going to create another video. Let's do this animation using the Luri animation. For example, this kind of animation is very useful when we are building an onboarding screen or some tutorial to the user. So let's get started. First, let's create a new project. Luti demo. I'm going to save in the desktop. And the first important step is import the library of Luri. And we are going to import using Cocoa Pots. So let's navigate into the page of Luri, Luri animation, Luri iOS. Well, here is the instructions. And it's very simple to use. Only we need to add a pod Luri iOS and then do pod install. After that, we need to download the JSON file of the Luri animation. But first, let me make some change. Here, I need to change to Xcode 13 and then we need to navigate onto the folder of our project. It's called Luri Demo. The first step to import our library is to make pod init. Then we can see a, a new file called pod file. So we need to open this pod file. And inside we are going to write the pod is here. Pod Luri iOS. Save the pod file. And finally, pod install. So we need to close this project and then open the project with the new source code. This with extension XC workspace. And here is. Oh, let me let me show you the the functionality. It's a simple UI view but it's a kind of Luri animation view. Uh, if I click on it, I'll navigate to the another screen. Or we can set a delay and automatically navigates into another view. In this video, I'm going to share with you the source code. So let's begin with adding a uh, UI view, simply UI view. In this case, I'm going to add in all the screen. Then I'm going to add some constraints. In this case will be zero for all sides. And the first important thing, I need to change the class of a simple view to animation view. And automatically the text that is Luthi. And then we are going to make the connection of our Luri view. So 
we are going to create onboarding view onboarding duty view connect before starting we need to download the files that we want to show you uh, let's visit the Luri Luri mm, 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 files Luris files dot com and here we can search for example I don't know maybe a map and there is a lot of beautiful animations that that we can use in my case I'm going to use this this one to download you need to select uh, of type JSON but first you need to log in in the page finally we can see the JSON file in our is a map in our computer and then we are going to drag into the folder of our project and copy item if needed copy items if needed so we are ready to start uh, we need to import the, the first step import Luri then we can some modifications uh, the most simple way to show our animation is uh, on the beauty load specify the onboarding lori view dot content mode equals dot scale aspect fit and onboarding lori view dot loop mode equals loop and uh, finally we need to onboarding lureview.play and that's all let's try and see what happens Okay, here is the the final app, but we are going to see in the full screen our animation. It's a little bit slow. But be patient. Let me see what happened. Ah, okay. Is <laughs> one one thing is missing. We need to specify the name of our view of our Luri view. The name we can set here. Uh, animation name. We need to set the name of map. So let's write map and let's test again. Sorry is a very important thing that I forgot and there is here is our animation and before finish 
I'm going to add another view controller only to show you how can change automatically into other screen I'm going to add a new Cocoa Touch class second view controller and link into the second view here second view controller and finally I'm going to add a delay mm, one timer that is timer dot schedule timer mm, with interval time interval target after five seconds I need to navigate to the second screen target cell selector I'm going to add special function call it change view BC user info need and repeat false after that I'm going to add this special function call it change BC and only I'm going to make an instance of the second view controller second view controller and force to cast to second view controller presentation full screen let me change to automatic and present our BC so let's try again and you can test with different loop mode loop content mode different content mode uh, and you can taste different ah okay is another thing is missing here <laughs> i need to specify the identifier of the second storyboard here storyboard id second view controller and let's try again it's very easy way to create an animation from Fluri file in JSON format and here is we can dismiss the second view controller and that's all let me change uh, another JSON file and change the name to area here in our Luri view we need to specify the the name of our file is called area is the new file that I just add and here is it's a beautiful animation so I'm going to show you the source code in the comments if you like this video please let me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep watching these kind of videos. Cheers!